Hello, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Fine start already, isn't it? <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, come on in, put your feet up, get yourself comfortable and just enjoy. Don't forget Scottish Word of the Week is at the end. Yes, if you haven't seen that already, it seems to be going down well, so enjoy. <laughs> All the things I'm using will be listed down below as always. And yes, let's get stuck in. So first off, I'm going to do two nails with Madame Glam's Perfect White. As you can see, it's highly pigmented, so it has to be used in ultra thin layers because it will wrinkle. <laughs> now I'm going in with this beautiful, um, it's a shimmer kind of um, soft pink. Um, it's not fully opaque but as you can see you can build it up this is the second coat um, and it's very very pretty <laughs> so first off i'm going to go in on the daydream nail i've done three of them sorry i forgot to say um it's been cured i'm just going in on the tacky dispersion layer i wasn't sure if i was going to do a fade or if i was just going to do a full glitter nail um this is burnishing so i'm just literally pushing that glitter into the tacky layer and brushing it down and as you can see it goes really really flat and um, then I was like nah let's just go for it <laughs> so I ended up just piling on the glitter and then brushing it all flat like you see here you can't beat a wee burnished glitter nail and rosebud is stunning I love it um, so now I'm going to go in with rubber base I don't need a really thick coat of this but I want to be sure that I can encapsulate it and then give it a wee buff just to smooth it out because you know me I like to do that <laughs> just feel that it just finishes the nail when I do that so yeah I'm going to go in with some rubber base and then we're going to cure that in the lamp any second now <laughs> okay so out of the decals the baby bunnies and the, I think it's spring foliage I've cut out a couple of them and I wanted to use the wee tiny wee bunnies that are looking to the side um and again, using my clear stamper, just blotting on some of that water, leave it for a few seconds to release the backing paper and then just slide it off. And then I'm just using the stamper just to put it on there, like so. So once I've got them all positioned and where I want them to be, I'm going to seal them in now with some just normal base coat. Now I thought this base coat cured for 60 seconds. It doesn't, it cures for 30. <laughs> so it's 30 seconds for Madame Glam's base coat. Now I'm just going to put a mixture of colours on my palette, so I want the white, I'm going to have some blue, I actually used far too much of this, some green as well, um, I could have used just a tiny spot of this and it would have been perfect because I used far too much and I hate waste, but yeah, so I'm going to mix some of the white with the green and I'm then going to paint kind of like a wee grass area that the, the bunny is going to sit on trying to go around about its wee feet and stuff so it looks like it's sat on the grass and then I'm going to start filling in that bottom bit I could have used a bigger brush but clearly I just wasn't thinking at the time um, but yeah I'm going to fill it in but I do want it to have some texture because it's supposed to be grass this is a kind of um, well, it would have been a bit more watercolour if the grass had been like that, but no, I decided to fill it in and give it some texture. But the, but the other bits will be kind of watercolour-esque. So I'm just doing long strokes here. Like so. And I'm going between the darker green that was just out the pot and the mixed lighter green. Just, like I said, just want to add some depth and texture to the, to the grass. <laughs> This set is actually super easy to do and it's so pretty when it's done. So there we go. I'm just faffing about here. Excuse me. Just, I'm making sure they get right down those sides because it is white at the back. So you want to make sure that you cover all of that white up. And then I'm just going to add some more of the dark. I'm just going between the dark and the light just to build up just some texture. I'm almost done this bit. <laughs> I've left it in real time just in case you want to, you know, join me. 
Um, so now I'm going to go in and that's been cured in the lamp. So these cure for a minute, 60 seconds in the lamp. And I'm just going to go in and add again some more texture. So I'm going between the lighter shade of green and the darker shade of green. And if I feel I need a wee bit lighter, I'm just going to go in and get some more white and add that in. I'm just adding it here, there and everywhere. No rhyme or reason. Just go wherever your wee brain tells you this is where I need some lighter areas or some darker areas. Like I always say, there's no right or wrong way when it comes to art. Aren't they wee bunnies just so cute? I want to squish it. Can I squish it? Well, I can't because it's on a nail, but hey. <laughs> I think I'm almost done this bit. I was clearly enjoying this. I was like, yes, let's just, yes. There we go. I'm just going to speed this bit up. <laughs> right, so now I'm going to go in again with the green and I'm just going to add wee tufts of grass. Wee tufts. <laughs> I'm doing my ASMR. <laughs> there we go. So I've got one at the front, one at the back and then I'm just going to add just wee tiny tufts just where the wee rabbit's sitting to make it more grass-like. There we go. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put that in the lamp. Now I'm going to take the blue and the white and I'm going to mix them. Um, I used far too much of this. On the second nail, which I didn't film, um, I kind of worked out what would work better so I wouldn't do it this way now um as you'll see in a wee second a little bit of this goes a long way because it is gel paint so it's super pigmented but I'm just using some alcohol just to disperse that pigment out um and as you can see it's it's just so pigmented I didn't need as much as what I used what I did in the second one was I would dip it in the blue and then I dipped it in the alcohol and then I just like painted on like that it's a bit like watercolor but with alcohol and gel paint um <clears throat> excuse me how do we frog anyone else got hay fever at the minute i'm not used to this in scotland it's march and we've got sunny days <laughs> um right so i'm just i'm going to fill in all the white areas with this blue to make it look like the sky the wee bunny is out in the meadow. There's some flowers around it. There's some beautiful grass. It's just living its best life. So I'm just going to go around all this wee bunny. But like I said, on the other one that I did, I didn't use as much of the, the product. I used more alcohol, less product, because it does go a long way. Like I said, I used quite a bit of the, well, I didn't use lots of the gel paint, but the amount I used, it was too much anyway. So I like to pass these wee things on so that whenever I do these things, um, you don't make the same mistakes that I did. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So now, because I used quite a bit of the blue in this, I needed to lighten it up a bit. So I'm going in with some of the white and again, I'm just dipping it in the white and then in the alcohol and just dispersing that white and it, it does calm down that blue quite a bit um, because I wanted it to have some lighter areas as well as the, the darker blue. So as you can see, when I'm putting it on there, it is quite wet at, some, at times. Um, it just depends how much alcohol I have in my brush. but it did help to, to calm that blue down a good bit. So if you do that, then you can fix it. If you, But if you want to have it that, that much blue, then fantastic. You know, it's it's each to their own. Whatever you're fancying at the time, it's absolutely fine. Art is subjective to the person. So my daughter keeps telling me. <laughs> right. So finally I've done that, I've cured it in the lamp and now I'm going in with matte top coat and I'm going to do that on 
the two nails that are left with Daydream. I'm also just going to matte top coat the bunny nails just now because that's them done. So might as well get them all nicely top coated. Now I'm going in with white gel paint on the two nails that are left with the Daydream. And I'm just going to do a polka dot pattern because it is Easter so, you know, these kind of things are painted on eggs and stuff. If you ever boil a hard... No. Boil an egg. <laughs> hard boiled egg. You draw on it and then you roll it and then, yeah. It's, yeah. I don't know if it... Uh, does anyone else do that? I know that we do it here but I'm not sure if it's something that's done worldwide or if it's just the UK or what have you. So let me know. Do you boil eggs and then get the kids to draw on them all their different patterns and then they roll the egg um to symbolize the angel rolling the stone away from jesus's tomb so yeah that's what that's why we do it here <laughs> so yeah i'm just like i always do with my polka dots i go down the center and then in between that on either side i go and put dots and then again either side of those dots i put in between again because um, it keeps it nice and uniform and I like that. So I've cured that in a lamp and I'm just going to leave that because it's a no wipe, no tacky gel paint so it's absolutely fine. I've went ahead and buffed this nail and um, cleaned off the debris and now I'm top coating it. Just in time for Scottish Word of the Week. Hello, it's me! Welcome back to Scottish Word of the Week. And this week I am a wee bunny in a cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's so cute! I thought we'd do it since it's coming up to Easter and I'd had a couple of requests. So here I am. I'm a wee bunny! <laughs> okay, let's do a shout out. And it's for all the nails. Love that. And they said... Gorgeous set, you as a fennec fox cheered me up as I'm currently laid up with the Rona virus. I'm so sorry to hear that and I really hope that you feel better soon. I'm sending you lots of love and prayers and hugs and yeah, and I'm sure everyone who's watching this will be doing the same. So speedy recovery and I hope I can give you a wee giggle while you're recovering. <laughs> Send you lots of love. <laughs> Okay, let's get on to Scottish Word of the Week. <laughs> I would be a rubbish host. I wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? I'd be rubbish. <laughs> anyway, Scottish Word of the Week this week is... Gads. <laughs> so, it means disgusting, gross, ew, or horrible. <laughs> So it would be like, oh, gads, that's disgusting. <laughs> Which means, oh, yuck, that's disgusting. So it's just like a term for something that's pretty disgusting. Yeah. Or if you're hungover, people can say, gads, I'm hungover. <laughs> or you're tired, you're like, gads. I'm so tired. <laughs> but mainly, it's used for, oh, gads. That's disgusting. That is just gads. <laughs> Hope that made it clearer. So now you know a new word for disgusting gads. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and I'll see you all in the next one. I hope you have a fantastic Easter. And I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Bye! Mwah! <laughs> so there you go, gads. But this isn't gads. I would say this is bra. <laughs> Do you remember bra? If you don't, you'll need to search my other Scottish Word of the Weeks to find out what that means. Um, so this is the fin finished set, sorry. If you liked it, give me a wee thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a wee comment down below to say hello. I love it. Um, and yeah, just stay creative and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! <laughs>